it is July 8th, 2014, and today I had my top surgery consultation with Dr. Hugh McLean in Mississauga, Ontario. Um, so I guess I'll just get right into what happened. So uh, it's a free consultation, and <clears throat> my appointment was for 11.30, so uh, my dad and I went, showed up, went in, sat in the waiting room. Uh, I had to fill out, since I'd never been there before, I had to fill out a couple pages of just information, health card number, who my doctor is, what surgery I'm looking at, whatever, um, health things, like if I have any like health history and whatever. Um, this is a plastic surgeon who specializes in top surgery for FTMs. Uh, it is his most performed surgery over the past couple years. Um, so they made a separate, like there's a top surgery section on his original website, which has all of the other like cosmetic stuff that he does. And then uh, they gave me this bracelet, which has uh, both of their websites on it. So his original website is www.mclaneclinic.com, which is the one that the only one I knew about. And that's the one I've been looking at for about three years now. Um, and then the other, the, their new website, which is specifically for uh, FTMs, is www.topsurgery.ca. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's comforting to know that, like, he's been doing this for a long time and he knows exactly what he's doing with, with us and, and it's good. Um, so basically I sat there for a while. My appointment, like I said, was for 11.30. I got asked to go and sit in one of the rooms at 12.12. 12. So... Um, the people, all of them are very nice there. I, I was the most, I've never felt so out of place in a waiting room though, I have to admit, because everybody else in there was there for cosmetic surgery. So it was all women in their thirties. Um, so it was a little weird and they were kind of looking at me and I was kind of looking at them like, this is weird. Um, but I eased up a little bit when a trans man walked out of, he didn't just come from his appointment. He walked out and I saw him and I just went, okay, we're good. Um, so that made me a little, feel a little bit more at home, um, and less out of place. Uh, but otherwise like the staff were all wonderful. Um, so I went at 12, 12, so like 40 minutes or whatever after, uh, when my appointment was scheduled for, I went and sat in a room and a lady came in. I don't remember her name. She came in and just briefly overviewed, uh, you know, asked me what procedure I think I'm getting, uh, you know, going over just basic stuff. She's like, I'm just kind of killing time. And just, if you have any questions or whatever, uh, until, uh, Dr. Hugh McClain can come in. So. Uh, that lasted a couple minutes because I didn't have any questions. And uh, so she left and Dr. Hugh McClain came in, uh, shook my hand and uh, and just introduced himself, asked me why I was there. I said, top surgery. He said, okay, sweet. Tell me about yourself. So he just asked, he just basically said, tell me about yourself and, and let me go and, and explain about my transition and things like that. And he wanted to know a lot about my high school because I kind of was in a special situation where I had a lot of trans students at my high school. Uh, he wanted to know about family situation. He wanted to know just, he didn't go into a lot of detail. It really wasn't that much, but he got interested in my high school and kind of things like that. Um, and then he asked, uh, what procedure I was looking at. And I said, uh, I'll probably have to get double incision. And so he then said, all right, you're, I'm going to leave the room for a second. You got to take your shirt off and whatever. Uh, so then took my shirt off. He comes back in. And then he looks at your chest and then he does have to touch your chest. So if that is going to make you uncomfortable, just a heads up. Um, yeah. So he has to touch your chest and make sure that everything's, you know, good and, and figure out how it's going to look and whatever. And then he had me lie down, uh, cause he was still wondering if I would be qualified for a uh, keyhole. Um, and he asked me to lie down to see how my chest looks, uh, when I'm lying down and he had to touch it again and like freaking figure. And he said that I could do keyhole if I really wanted. But the way that my skin is working, my chest itself is not that big, but I have a lot of skin that hangs down. Um, so 
I would have, there was a really, really high chance that I would have a lot of extra skin um, on my chest after surgery. And so unfortunately, keyhole is not really a feasible option. Um, but whatever. Uh, he said my nipples are like unusually tiny for a female anatomy. Um, so he won't have to like, usually he has to like cut quite a bit off, but he really won't have to. Uh, he's still going to do the grafts, obviously. Um, but, uh, so then after he finished configuring, he like pulls your chest down and he's like, your nipples, like the way that my chest works, it'll, it'll align perfectly where they should be, uh, on a male chest. So he's like, it'll double incision will work perfectly for you. Um, and it will be completely fine. So he's like, I'm going to leave again. You can put your clothes back on. So I put my shirt back on and goes back in. And then he just, he basically just draws diagrams of how this, how double incision works, which I already knew because I've seen it. I've actually watched the procedure being done, but, um, draws diagrams, shows him how, how it's going to work. And then he, he goes on about how he does it. So he does not use drains, which I knew already because I looked it up. He doesn't use drains for double incision, which is awesome because drains look like a pain in the ass. Um, so basically he does stitches. He stitches on the inside to fill the space so that fluid doesn't build up. Um, and then basically if there is by any chance any fluid build up, they, he said they stick a needle in and suck it out. Um, which is kind of gross, but, uh, but then you don't have to deal with drains for however long. Um, so that was it. I had questions. My mom asked, my mom couldn't come to the appointment. She had, she had to be at work. Um, she couldn't get it off. So, um, my mom asked me to ask him about risks and, uh, and, uh, painkillers and stuff. And he said, usually it's just Percocet and like Tylenol three or something. Um, for painkillers and and then he went over like risks of like bleeding and uh excessive scarring and that like fluid buildup which is curable um and something else uh oh uh, infection um all of which he said are really uncommon oh and then nipple graft failure which he said is super uncommon um so yeah, he said basically they just cut the skin at the bottom of the nipple so that it flattens it out a little bit more and sew it back on and whatever. Um, so double incision it is. Then after I met, after I was done with him, after we were done talking and everything, um, I had to go see their, what's her name? Liz something. Um, she deals with finances and everything like that. So I had to go to her office. So I went from the, the checkup-ish room, whatever thing, to her little office thing. And she put together this lovely little package um, to talk about finances. So this is the logo. You can see it. Um, and it's just this little envelope thing. And inside, I've got, and then she's got her little business card in here. And inside is the financial policies, so everything that, and all of the option payment options, and then a cancellation policy. Um, so, for to make your appointment, the second appointment thing, uh, where you choose a date, you have to put a 10% down payment. Um, so the consultation's free. The appointment where you actually pick what your surgery date is not. Um, then they gave me a blood work sheet for when I'm actually going to get the surgery done and a sheet for my doctor to fill out again when I'm going to get the surgery done. So this stuff will be sitting waiting to be filled out for a while. Um, and then the quotation. So I'm going to cover my name here. And how am I going to do this? Okay. This is basically what it looks like. Um, the surgery itself 
$7,000 plus tax, so it comes to a total of $7,910. Um, yes. So, that was... I knew it was going to be that much. I knew it was going to be 7000 upwards of 7000 Uh, so almost 8000 And at this point, uh, this is good for a year. Like, this consultation is good for a year, so uh, as long as I have surgery within the next year, it's fine. Um, I'm planning on having surgery. Uh, if all goes according to plan, I would really like it March, April, May of next year. Um because money is not happening right now, um, unfortunately. And, but I really wanted to get the consultation done so that for my birthday and Christmas, uh, I will have the cost laid out and I can tell family and friends and whatever, whoever gets me stuff for my birthday, look, this is what I'm saving for, this is my goal. I, I'd rather you help me fund my surgery than buy me a t-shirt or something for my birthday. So that is basically it. Uh, I just wanted to update you guys on that consultation and, and uh, let you guys know if you're planning on going to uh, Dr. Hugh McLean uh, in Mississauga. He is super incredible. The whole, everyone there is so nice. Um, and I'm really, really excited for this process and just getting it all over with and done. Um, so the next step is money. Um, I am extremely good at saving, which is really good. I've never had a job in my life, which is kind of scary because I have some money saved, but nowhere near enough. Um, so I'm basically pulling $8,000 out of my ass. So this should be fun. Uh, <laughs> this will be fun. Um, so my mom is not home yet, but at some point soon, uh, I will sit down with her and we'll have a talk about this because she was supposed to go today, but she couldn't, unfortunately. So I'll go over everything. Uh, that happened and so that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching and hope you're having a good time whatever it is you're doing uh subscribe comment if you have any questions uh about my consultation or anything else go ahead uh i still have the video going for my or the, the idea for the q a video with my sister so if you have any questions for her or for me leave them down below uh see you guys thanks